You know how I said I might just give up and then search the internet for a way to get this analog rotary encoder working? <laughs> well, I did that, and nobody else had anything either. There's nothing on Stack Overflow, nothing at Google. Basically, it seems like I am the first person ever to try and make an open source analog rotary encoder. I don't know what the deal is. I searched GitHub too. I just could not find anything. But I got it working. Works great. Oh, well, there's a minor bug where if I go too high in the brightness, it uh, it gets stuck because the baseline gets set when you reset the board. So I mustn't go too high. So basically what I need to do is every time someone use, changes the brightness, I need to just re-baseline all of the um, Hall Effect sensors so that things like that don't happen. Because what's happening is it's looking for a difference between what it was previously and what it is now in terms of voltage. And that's not going to work if the uh, voltage right now is so low compared to the baseline that it'll never be different. <laughs> you'll, never, you'll never pass that threshold. So it's something I'm working on, you know, little quirks and bugs to work out. But the rotary encoder works. I haven't figured out how to get it to, like, send mouse scroll events or anything like that yet. But that is just a, uh, a Kibaron thing. Like, I just need to figure out how to pass events through Kibaron. And it's just, you know, just a little bit of figuring out some Rust code. But at least I know it'll work. Oh, and I went too high again. You see that? It's stuck. Oh, no, it unstuck itself. Another thing is... Uh, I, you know, I've got this working. It feels great. You know, nice, strong uh, button. But I still haven't figured out a good way to, um, I, you know, i got to get the code working better for that. So it doesn't, it detects it, but for whatever reason, it's not firing an actual event. It's supposed to toggle the LEDs when I press it. And if I look at the debug output right now and I, I press it down, it just freezes. <laughs> it does nothing. I'm still working on I'll get it fixed eventually. Um, another thing I got to do too is like it's a little too sensitive. So when I press it down, it fires a couple of like up down events while I do that. I don't know if there's, a, I don't even know if I can work around that. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, what is cool though is the uh, sensitivity is configurable. So right now I've got it like pretty sensitive. It's going one step. Like when, when it reads a, a, ch a change, like a counterclockwise or, f or a clockwise movement, it adds one to the LEDs, like the brightness. So you can see how much brightness this goes. Oh, did I break it again? I probably did. Let's reset it. All right. See that? See how much I'm spinning? So I said, the I said it to be really pretty sensitive right now, but can I actually go about three times more sensitive, but that's kind of insane. <laughs> Uh, the real problem is I think I've got it so that um, it ca you can't make it l even less sensitive. Like I'm going to have to add like a, a multiplier factor or something so that it, um, you can make it even less sensitive. Because right now it's, it's a bit insane. Like even if I make it as like if I set the threshold to like 600, which is like it's still like only like, I want to say that much of a turn, like a tiny little turn and that actuates. So, well, it's, it sends whatever event I want it to. So I'm going to have to add like a counter and say like uh, only, you know, if you want, you can, it will only actuate after this many uh, detected movements. So yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of firmware work to do, but generally speaking, you know, I've got it working. Look at that golden knob. It's nice and quiet too, you hear that? Exactly. There's nothing to hear. Because it doesn't make any noise at all. Well, unless I hit it. Yeah, analog, contactless, rotary encoder with uh, whatever resolution you want. <laughs> Down to insanity insane levels of resolution like i can make it so like just the smidgiest i mean it, it already is you can see that it's the tiniest little movements <laughs> anyways a lot of work to do